Hi everyone, so today I thought I'd do an Ariana Grande inspired makeup look. This is from the Break Free music video and I'll insert the picture of what I was going off here. Um, but I've tried to recreate that. Obviously I look nothing like Ariana, obviously, but I've just kind of gone for the eye makeup she does, so like the winged liner with uh, four lashes and gold and brown and like contour and a nude lip. So yeah, this is just kind of the makeup I've gone off. I haven't done like a hair tutorial obviously because my hair is definitely not as long as Ariana's. This look is actually also really wearable if you wanted to change up these lashes. Um, you could just put some more natural ones which would look so nice. It's eye makeup's really wearable. Obviously I my eyebrows aren't the same as Ariana's either and my eye shape. So I'm gonna look completely different to Ariana, but it's kind of just like what I thought her makeup looked like. Yeah, she just looks so cute and yeah, meh. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this look and let's just get on with the video. This is the part when I say I don't yeah, I'm stronger than I've been before. Okay, so I start off looking absolutely awful i have my eyebrows done because it's just easier obviously i can't get my eyebrows to be like ariana's because we have different shaped brows which is so annoying but yeah um i use just a brow powder and now i'm just using nivea men post shave balm as a primer you all probably know why it's just a good primer by now and yeah i just rub it in until it's tricky or sticky yeah and then for foundation i'm using the illamasqua skin base one i think in like the shade 6 because I have no fake tan on so you can see this video I probably should have put a fake tan on because Ariana's tan but I don't know I probably didn't think that through but yeah I'm just putting this on then I'm blending it in with like a big like flat top foundation brush from BH Cosmetics And then on any spots or anything, I just use the Bourjois Radiance Concealer. And yeah, I put that anywhere and use it. And then blended it in with the Real Tech Real Technique Sponge. I always find it hard to say that. But yeah, I always put it above my eyebrows as well. So I feel like I don't get enough foundation there. So yeah. And then under my eyes, I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And a bit of the Bourjois one as well. Just to like brighten and stuff. So yeah. So then I use a mixture of the Anastasia Contour Kit, the banana shade from there to set underneath my eyes and the Illamasqua like setting powder and I also put the setting powder around my face to set the rest of my face. That's, it's an amazing powder. So then I just use a NARS primer and put this all over my eyelid. It's really hard to blend it in because I have like acrylic nails on. And I don't know, I should probably start using a brush because it will probably make it easier for me. And then I take the Kat Von D Shaping Light Palette to set my eyes. But look in a minute, how much dust comes off this palette, like powder that comes off the palette is crazy. So yeah, then I take um, the light shade from the Kat Von D palette, the lightest one out of the eyeshadows to put through my crease as a transitional shade because we are using quite a few browns. Well, we're using two browns because Ariana has kind of like a brown crease. So yeah, then I'm going in with another transitional shade. This is like a pink from the Revolution palette. It's really, really good. I love that palette. It's like the Redemption Iconic 3 palette. And then the Too Faced Eggnog palette I'm taking, I think it's called Skinny Latte. I might be completely wrong on making that up. And then I'm putting this through my crease, mainly on the outer part. 
book comes all the, way, all the way from my crease and then blending it with a NARS brush. And that brush I'm using there is one of my favourite brushes ever, it's an Illumatica brush and it's amazing. And I'm also taking that colour on the outer part of my eye. And I also take um, a light brown shade from the Kat Von D palette through my outer part of my eye as well and make sure that's all blended. And then in a minute you'll see that I clean up the edges with my sponge, it's really good there. If you um, do your foundation first, it does clean up the edges and you don't really need a wipe, so yeah. Then I take the Naked 2 palette and I take the gold and the kind of pinky goldy shade and mix them two together and put it on my outer part of my eyelid. And yeah, this would be the look without eyeliner, but Ariana did have eyeliner, eyeliner, eyeliner on in the look, so... I do have wing eyeliner, I just use this super cat eyeliner to make the wing and then to do the rest of it I use the Illumatica gel eyeliner which is amazing. And yeah I tried to get on camera me doing my eyeliner, you can kind of see it but I mean yeah I don't really have anything in particular I do, I just wing it. Like literally. Oh god that was one of the worst jokes I've ever made. And yeah that's pretty much all I do for my eyes. Well, no, not for my eyes, for my eyeliner. And yes, yeah, so I quickly added some lashes. I used the Kiss Lily lashes. They're one of my favourite lashes and I love them. And then I contour with the Anastasia Contour Kit. And yeah, I use the Fawn shade from there. And I blend it, make sure it's all blended with the Real Techniques brush. Ariana definitely looked like she had a strong contour. So I wanted to get that contour sharp. And then I took the two other shades just to define it a little bit more. And then I took Huda to just bronze up a little bit and then this is where it cut off. I'm so, so sorry. Hey! So I just went to go and export the footage that I have from this look. And the last few clips have been like, they're missing the files, they're missing. So I'm just going to quickly explain to you what i done for the rest of my skin. I've literally done two more things, so it's really not the end of the world. And this lip colour, I will tell you. So I contoured with the Anastasia Contour Kit, which I think was on camera. And I think you saw that I bronzed with Benefits Huda Bronzer. And then I she basically has a really strong jawline. I, for sure, don't even when I contour it. But I was just saying I'm going to bring this down at my neck to contour that to try and get the same jawline as Ariana when... She's got an amazing jawline. So yeah, I used Hula by Benefit. And then for blush, I use a bronzy brush because she's very bronze. Uh, she is very bronze and I'm not very bronzed. <laughs> so I use, this is the Soap and Glory Wonder Bronze. So it's just got like pinks and bronze and yeah, it's glowy as well. And obviously her skin was quite matte, but she had an amazing highlighter. So I used Urban Decay highlighter in lumin luminite luminous luminous and it's just a really super pretty highlighter so yeah so i use the Too faced melted liquefied longwear liquid lipstick probably didn't need to know all of that in the shade nude and then put that all over my lips and yeah um if you wanted to go for a gloss over the top there's so many glosses just to use like a nude gloss there's lots and lots of nude glosses obviously um so yeah obviously i'm not saying i look like ariana or whatever because i for sure do not look like ariana but she's my all-time favorite and i just i felt like i needed to recreate this and break free is one of my all-time favorite songs and probably my favorite music video from ariana so i thought i'd just recreate it so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video um if you did then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and also if you want to see any more celebrity looks then let me know because i'd love to do them